Hey my loves, welcome, welcome back to the channel So guys, I have another channel message, okay So, let's just go ahead and get into it Um, sorry, I just woke up And I just was like, let me go ahead and talk to my collective Because, guys, um, it's just energy I've been feeling with like my spirit team Really like trying to get me to um, push and get you guys to understand um, one particular thing, and that's your journey is so different. And I guess we may, you know, notice other people like our friends or people we've met at Soul Trap who we have a lot of things in common, uh, whether that's trauma or situations we've been through, um, whether that could even be things related to family that, you know, we share in common. And that is on purpose, of course, we know. Now, what our guys is trying to let us know um, as a collective is that, especially if you follow me, is that your life and your ancestors and your mission and your purpose and what you're supposed to tap into is different, okay? So a lot of the times I, I feel like, like your guys are especially like coming through to say that a lot of times we meet people like us and we start to adapt to things that they do or practices that they're into or um, just certain things, honestly, without noticing, okay? So your guys is saying, if you are not, you know, somebody who's tapped into your ancestors, definitely take the time to talk to them and understand what it is that they want you to do here. Because there's certain missions and I won't even say missions, there's certain um, lessons that you have to go through, okay? And certain things isn't going to work. I'm really hearing a lot of you guys, it's like different definition, definition tools or magic. It's going to be completely different than the way other people are doing it. And it's just taking me back to that message that I posted the other day about um, doing things by the book. Your guys are wanting you to connect with them because we are in, a, in the process of a whole new everything, a new earth, a new beginning in this collective, in this world, okay? Things are going to be different. I remember when I first started on my journey and the tarot readers that was out, excuse me, they are not around anymore. Um, but they they used to say all the time, like, don't judge the new the newcomers, the new, you know, the awakened ones, because they will be different. They're going to do things different. And I remember keeping that in my spirit because when I see people who are different, they do things different. Like, you know, how out of nowhere there was the collective of tarot readers who started making their own oracle decks. And people from the olden age or, you know, back in the day would be like, why are you making your own tarot decks? Why are you all blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't matter, okay? We're realizing we're connected into a larger source here where things were way more restricted back in the past. And we more quiet and kept, you know, low. Be yourself, okay, collective? My loved ones, my friends, my family, be yourself. Do not worry about it. If your guys say it's okay to do this, do not listen to somebody else who say it's not okay. If your guys say, hey, I don't want you to pay your bills a certain way. I want you to do this. I, I want you to, you know, um, get married to somebody of a different, you know, culture or a race or something. And that might not be something that your family down in the lineage and like in the past would have been okay with. And you may say, my ancestors may not want me to marry somebody of a different race, but yes, they do. And, and they may be, that might be frowned upon, um, with everybody else around you or a certain job you may have, even if it's in the sex industry and field. If you're feeling called to do that by your ancestor, there could be something in your lineage that needs to be healed that you are not aware of, okay? And there is nobody who can tell you if that is right or wrong unless they are divinely connected to your ancestors and is in this mission with you. So, it is time to release shame and guilt and doubt. And my guys, it's very, like... Listen, we put you through a lot of these things so that you can go back to your collective and appropriately tell them how to get through things that other people try to put you through. It is not time. We have so much to do in this lifetime to heal our ancestors and our lineage, y'all. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted. I don't care if you're white, black, 
Green, Puerto Rican, Chinese, you come from the ground, underground, the upper ground. It doesn't matter. If you are here on a mission, follow your mission. If you are hearing a message from me and it does not resonate, it do not resonate for you, baby. And that is okay. Not everything needs to resonate. Not everything, not every practice, divination tool. You may do things completely different. Completely. And you may be the first person in your family. In, in history to do this. That is why there are innovators and people who do things, trendsetters. You are the new trendsetter. So whatever weird and quirky way you have of doing things, embrace that, okay? Because there is something in your lineage and your ancestor line that needs you to be different for this new beginning that's coming. And you're going to be standing on top because you decided to listen to your ancestors and take a different path. Okay, (laughs) I know this may sound like I'm just trying to let you know that you do not have to carry that burden, okay, of trying to be perfect in in any of those things. Accept who you are on this mission and do it. Do the damn thing every day, every day. I love you guys. I will never try to lead you in the wrong direction. I need you to understand that it's time to get way more tapped in a lot of you guys are going to stop listening to tarot readings and stuff because you're going to be so tapped in and that's okay because there will be a wave of collective who need that but you won't anymore and that is okay okay so i love you so much i know that you know that i love you and i will talk to you guys in the next message bye